Hey guys, so today is day 5 of the circuit breaker which is also my 4th video today so I think today's a Saturday uh, we kind of really lost track of the days already since we've been at, <laughs> we've been at home for well, close to a week now and uh, yeah, following up from yesterday's conversation or yesterday's video um, I really talked about uh, why when you buy resale, uh, resale HDB, right? Uh, whether you should use CPF to pay for it or not, um, and also we want to talk a little bit more about um, CPF accrued interest. Uh, CPF accrued interest. Uh, in my case, in my own story, um, if you follow my videos uh, previously, you realize that or uh, you will know that uh, I bought a resale HDB, an old one, uh, lost about eighty thousand. Uh, today depreciate depreciation uh, of the house uh, value. Uh, and uh, over the past five years, my CPF accrued interest uh, snowballed, right? Snowballed. And today, uh, me and my wife's combined accrued interest is about um, 38,000. 38, 38, so what does accrued interest mean? Um, in a very layman term, accrued interest means that um, this is the amount of money, that uh, interest that you would have earned if... You didn't buy a house or if you didn't take out that cpf money from your ordinary account so if i didn't buy a house i carry on to rent or i stay with my relatives um i would uh, have gained i would me and my wife would have gained thirty eight thousand dollars thirty nine thousand dollars worth of interest in my ordinary account uh, that's quite a lot of money right thirty over thousand almost forty thousand i think um uh, it's quite hard pain uh, you know uh, for me um, number one my hdb depreciated number two my accrued interest is uh 38 39 thousand over the past five years so question to you guys i uh, say is hey imagine uh, imagine you stay in a hdb house for 10 years 15 years 12 years how much would your accrued interest be so how does that affect um your selling price how does that affect your proceeds when you decide to sell your house after that 10 12 or 15 years i think that's something that you all have to really uh start thinking about and then you know speak to a professional uh, who can guide you through this process or give you more information and then so that you all you all are empowered to make um the best decisions for you and your family i think that's very important so other than that um uh, i think um Tomorrow's topic, maybe we'll talk a little bit more about different. Uh, we want to switch topic a little bit, switch angle a little bit. Uh, maybe for me, I want to talk about why uh, I left my corporate job and then uh, decided to embark on this um, real estate industry uh, line, this profession. Uh, I think that's something that's going to be quite interesting. Um, I don't mind sharing and it's really, really hard to heart and uh, no, no secrets there. Um, happy to share that tomorrow. Okay, so uh, stay tuned, uh, stay healthy, and yeah, if you're at home, nothing to do, just try go and do some exercise, yeah? Okay, maybe at home, do some push-ups, sit-ups, whatever. I think just keep your mind active and uh, keep that fighting spirit uh, on because uh, we are going to recover from this eventually and you don't want to lose your fighting spirit in this month, okay? Cheers, take care, bye.